Hello Highland Hornets, Mrs. Campbell here. Uh, this is the second video for the Microsoft Office Word Leader and Me document. And this is going to start at step eight. You should have already done one through seven and have check marked those off your checklist. Um, also, you should have already opened up your P drive and your Leader and Me document. If you have not done that yet, go ahead and pause the video and go and do that uh, right now. And then come back to the video. Okay, so number eight. I showed Mrs. Campbell how I can change my view. So what we want you to understand about uh, changing your view is that um, you can view this in different ways. Uh, at the top here, when you go across all of these different tabs, we're going to go to the View tab. And I want to show you basically the Zoom feature on this tab. I'm going to click it. And it gives me a couple of options. You know, where, how do you want to zoom? Do you want to do zoom to 200%? OK, which makes it really big. Or if you want to see like 75% so you can see the entire page. Um, this kind of allows you to see what, what it will look like the entire page when you go to print. Um, there does have some options here for multiple pages. This is only one page, so I'm not going to use that. Uh, but I want you to understand that you can change how you're viewing your document. Um, gives you kind of a better idea of what it's going to look like when you go to actually print it out. So, in order to check off number eight off your checklist, at this point, I want you to raise your hand. And all you're going to do when I come over, all you're going to do is you're going to click View and Zoom. And then I say, check mark your paper. And then you may exit out of that. So, that's number eight. Number nine, I cut and pasted the Habit 7 paragraph to the end. Now, I'm going to tell you, cutting and pasting is a little tricky, and this is the part where students tend to have a little bit of trouble. Okay, so pay attention. Cutting and pasting. This paragraph right here, for Habit 7, sharpen the saw I like to, and you're going to fill this in here in just a minute. But for right now, we're going to take all of this uh, text, and we're going to move it down here to this area. So we're going to cut it. Think about like if you had a scissors, and you were going to cut it out of the paper here, and then you were going to actually take glue or paste and paste it down here. So we're not really cutting with the scissors, and we're not really pasting with glue. But those are... Um, that's what they call the what we're getting ready to do. So in order to cut it, we're going to left click and we're going to drag across down to the drag the mouse down to uh, the end of the period. And you'll see this is now all in gray. And then I'm going to keep my mouse hovered over that text and then I'm going to right click. And then I'm going to come right here and left click the word cut and that should happen. I don't want you to freak out. That's perfectly okay. If you did accidentally mess up and cut the wrong thing or didn't get all of it, remember your friend the undo. You can go back and give it another try. Okay? So, now we're going to come down here. Right now, if you look, our cursor is up here. If we paste it, it's going to paste it here. So, I need to move my cursor down here first. So, I'm going to click down here. Now, my cursor is here. And I'm going to right click my mouse and it gives me a couple of different of paste options. I'm going to go ahead and do keep source formatting. I'm going to click right here because I want it to look just like how it looked um, when it was um, at the top. And it's showing me on the screen what it would look like. Let's let's uh, drag hover across. Let's see what it, the other options look like. OK, it looks the same. So I'm going to click here, keep source formatting. And now it's done. It's now pasted that Habit 7 paragraph down here at the end. Um, just so you know, under the Home tab, you can also cut and copy from up here as well. It gives you the same options. Um, so it's not really a right or wrong if you like using it up uh, the cut and paste um, controls up here you can if you like using your mouse controls to do that that's kind of what I'm used to so that's what I use but if you want to use it um, the cut and paste from up here that's perfectly fine too it's a, just a personal preference okay so remember if you made any mistakes uh, when cutting and pasting just use the undo and give it another try that's how we learn okay so I'm gonna come back over here I'm done with number nine number ten 
I filled in the blanks and deleted the lines. Okay, so this part takes kids a little bit of time too because you're actually going to now complete and fill in all of these lines, all right? So the very first one says, I have chosen to write about habit, and then we're going to type on the keyboard, and I'm going to go ahead and pick my favorite habit is habit three, and then I want you to go ahead and I want you to type the actual name of the habit. So I'm going to put put, put first things first. And if you notice, I have these um, words capitalized, the P, the F, the T, and the F. So I want you to do the same thing too because we're going to publish these and hang them out in the hallway and we want this to be our best work. So we're going to capitalize the name of that habit. Now, I want to get rid of these lines, okay? So I'm going to left click here, and I'm going to hit my delete key a couple times and get rid of it until I have the word because. Now, I'm aware that the word because is misspelled, but I want you to leave it that way. Just ignore that it has a red underline right now. Just ignore it. All right, so I have chosen to write about habit three, put first thing first because, and then I'm going to type here why I picked this one. Um, I guess I'll start up here actually, because I love when students work hard on their type to learn lessons before they play computer games. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and left click. I'm going to drag my mouse over this. And I'm going to get rid of these blank lines. Now see how it thinks that this is all one big long word. So I'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard to get that back down here. So remember, if you mess up, here's your friend undo. And I need a period right there. So I want you to make sure that when you're typing and filling in these blanks that you are really taking your time to um, write a couple of sentences. Don't just say, I've chosen to write about habit three because I like it. And then, and, and then just rule, you don't want anything that's just a couple of sentences long. I want you to really think about it and give some good examples. Okay, so an example of my chosen habit is when I clean my house first before I read um, let's let's put let's put watch a movie watch a movie okay so I'm also going to get rid of this and you can write as much as you want okay be more elaborate if you want I'm doing it pretty quickly because I want you to be able to do this as well for habit seven sharpen the saw I like to read books play piano and watch soccer both of my daughters play soccer and if I am not watching them I am I am usually watching a game on TV all right now mine's not very long yours can be longer and um, that would be great if you could be longer don't forget periods at the end of your sentences don't forget capital letters uh, you want to make sure that all looks pretty good um, all right so once you have that done, you've gotten rid of all the blank lines, and you now have your uh, the sentences completed with your words, your choices, then you may come back here and uh, click number 10. Number 11, I indented my paragraphs. Now, I don't really have nice, long, full paragraphs, but I do want to show you how to uh, indent them because that's supposed to be the proper way. You're supposed to indent your paragraphs. So I'm going to take my mouse. I'm going to left click here in front of the eye. And I'm going to go on my keyboard, and I'm, go I'm looking for the tab key, which is to the left of the letter Q. It's right above caps lock and to the left of the letter Q. I'm going to tap that key once and it moves it over and indents it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm actually going to make this one paragraph and just have the two paragraphs tab. So now I've done that. I've indented both of my paragraphs. 
Number 12. I inserted one clip art picture for Habit 7 and centered it. There's two things on here, so don't forget about centering it. Now, this is the part you're going to like. The first thing you need to pay attention to is that right now this is where the cursor is. So if I insert a picture, it's going to insert it here. But I want it down here on my paper. So I'm going to click uh, down here in this area, in the white area, uh, so that it will paste my picture here. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go to the Insert tab. Uh, and we're going to insert, we're going to click online pictures. Now, if you're using an older version of Word, you're actually going to look for insert clip art. Uh, that is actually pictures that are saved right within the software. You don't need to go out on the internet. But for this newer version of Word, that's what it's doing. It's actually going and pulling images for you from the, um, from the internet. So I'm just going to put in here soccer ball. You can search for whatever you want. So for habit seven, if you put watching TV, you want to put in, you know, TV. If you're, if you put in that you're, uh, what you like to do for habit seven is dancing. You might want to put dancer in there and see what images come up. So I'm going to search. And it's giving me a whole bunch of options of soccer balls that I can choose from. Um, Obviously, you can spend a lot of time trying to find the perfect image that I want to have. And I'm just going to pick one. Uh, so you just click it. And then I'm going to click Insert. Now, you can see it came in there really big. And it created it, actually put it on a second page of paper, okay? And I want to have it all on one page. Because when we print, we're just going to have the one page. So I'm going to go to the actual picture. If you click on it, it should have this line around it and then I'm going to go up here to either any of the corners I'm, I'm trying to get that two-headed arrow and I can drag it down and it'll make it smaller and then once I have it small enough to fit on the same page it'll move up here and now I still just have as you can see down here page one of one I still have one page okay so I need to center it though. I want it right here in the middle. So I'm going to click it and then I'm going to come back to my home tab and I'm going to click my center align just like I did for my title and then I have both of those things done. A couple of things just so you know. This little arrow right here allows you to move to uh, change your picture like that to tilt it. Um, and then this allows if I had text on, on all sides of it and I want the text to stay on one side I can click here and choose how I want the text to look around my image okay so now I've done both of those things I'm gonna click here and I'm done with number 12 I think I have time I'm gonna get uh, maybe one more thing in here number 13 I highlighted the word habit Okay, so highlighting is different from font color. Highlighting is uh, will put look like a yellow highlighter marker um, behind the word. So I'm going to left click and select the word habit. And right here or right here, it looks like a little yellow highlighter, you can tell. I'm going to do the drop down arrow. And you can pick which color you want for the word habit. And as you can see, now it draws that reader's attention um, to the word habit. And we're basically doing this just because I want to be able to see that you know how to highlight a word in case that ever comes up. So make sure you're going through and finding all the words of habit and highlight them. All right. Highlighted the word habit. And then uh, I think we're going to stop there. And then we'll pick up uh, the next video with step number 14. So at this point, you want to save your file, I mean save your document, sorry, by hitting the little purple um, disk. And then you may uh, exit out. And that's the end of this video. Don't forget to lock your P drive and close out of all um, items down here in the taskbar. Thanks. Have a great day.